Okay, we're back to the main story. We have to go. Okay, there's something odd about how this story sucks, like, we're doing nothing and then something else comes out. Ah, you're back. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. Many who undertake the far-reaching journey to the Xianzhou are weighed down by a heavy heart and exhaustion. But your steps are bold and steady, a stride worthy of a nameless. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. The conclusion. Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me. You're back. Anything you wanted to share? Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Don Shu. Wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's Chief Alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the Chief Alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission, Dell. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. No cure? Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Please, take them. You've done so much for the Lafu, for the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Okay, I'm really confused with this story because aren't we supposed to look out for that steron and now we have to do with this? Thank you for coming on such short notice. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seat of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question. But there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Thank you. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her.
Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Does she come here to treat other sightless people? Huh, I don't think she's blind. What's this got to do with you? You were family or something? Because you don't look like it. Hmm. You're just trying to be a hero. You sure you want to mess with the Lafu trio? Don't make me bring the bed. Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this. I beat people up all the time. Yeah, get lost. Stop meddling in our business. And help me up already! Uh, they used some kind of hidden power! I saw it! You're a cheater! That's right! If you hadn't cheated, I would have knocked your lights out! You sure about that, boss? They didn't even flinch! Ugh! Shut up! Boss, let's get out of here! We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts! <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we fight fair and square. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you for helping me, Mets. I'm okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. Then I wouldn't have run into those guys. They always laugh at me for being blind. They like to trip me up and steal my things. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on the Lawfu recently. Don Shu must be very busy. Thank you, miss. Remember to thank her for me. Why does she wander about alone? <sighs> well, I've delivered the medicine. I should report back to Don Shu. Okay, this is the most weird mission. Like, we trying to save the station, but we have to do side quests. Again, what's the deal with this story? How was she? Did you deliver the medicine? She reminds me of myself, when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark. Face obstacles I couldn't predict. As well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps. To pay a little kindness forward. Thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? 
Another favor? Lady, we supposed to save your home from a steroid. What's the deal with this? Yes. I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. But sometimes, the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Her parents used to be artisans in the Commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. In all likelihood, that's where she'll be. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days, especially for a sightless child. Let's go. What's happening? Is the girl in trouble? <laughs> Help! Let's be friends. I'm on guard. <laughs> It's all right. Everything's okay now, Shao Yu. <laughs> Thank you, big sister. Thank you, Sanshu. You don't need to be scared anymore. She is here. But I... When I think about all the trouble I've caused you to, I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? <sighs> Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. Huh? Because in the next few centuries, visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we need. <sighs> so if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? I'm not trying to console her. This is... the reality. Walking alone in the darkness. Fearing every incoming, invisible obstacle. Unable to understand other people's descriptions. Okay. I cannot get what they're trying to do, but he's a little detail. They can live for a hundred years. So they cannot heal this? Like, what? You can live for 100 years or I don't know how. But you cannot heal a side ear? Really? It's emotional, but I think the same thing it makes no sense. If this was against, you know, fantasy. May a little sense, but this is sci fi. They are literally so just how advanced they are. How come uh, blindness is, can be cured, but you have people like bite you healing beer from the dead? Not from the dead, but you get what they try to say. Everyone, everything is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. 
She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. Yes. By trying my best to change her personal circumstances. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, Sanchu. From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Here's another thing. How about a dog companion? Like, I don't know. I'm not mad, but in the same time, I, how to say, frustrated. Thank you again for all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become chief alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. Incomplete ones? That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. Okay, let's have the reason why. For long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. Very anyway, well, encoded. Okay, now I'm confused, frustrated, and confused again. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, how our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate. And I was left in pain and despair. Um, okay, the but... Isn't this... They're supposed to be the... Follow the hand, but... The emotions are like they follow the harmony or the one that heals. I'm kind of confused here. I mean, again, I'm not mad too much of the story, but... It's kind of frustrating because... This is sci-fi. But what... What does she mean by encoded? Like... That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish. Forever etched into my mind. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenance. <laughs> what a joke. Even the denizens of abundance. So-called abominations needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met, for now. Oh, I have a gift for you, though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. Wait, does she has a robot arm? 
So what was the whole thing with the eyes? If you say they're gonna regenerate to the original form, what, you didn't born with a one hand? Okay, I don't want to sound a bad guy, but you present something and then do the opposite. This is sci-fi. This is a revenge spaceship or planet spaceship, what is called. You have the native living for 100 years and some of them are, you know, medics like Bailu. And you have like people with prosthetic arms, like look at Hulta, for example. But you cannot cure eyesight? Really? You have a robot arm that your arm never grow back? But you can make a case that her arm actually regenerated and just to for the time they don't regenerate that fast. Or maybe they actually did. But again, we know bits and bits of this. You know, maybe this story could work better in games because that's fantasy. So you can have some limitation how much you can heal someone. But this is sci-fi. Oh boy, I believe really gone in a tangent there. I mean, I cannot empathize with this story, but in the same time, I have to lock up my <laughs> logic brain. See you soon, friend. Don Shu needs more time to prepare my gift. There's nothing pressing right now. Why not head over to space? Oops. This is a diary I kept. It records the many attempts I made to overcome my incompletions. No need to apologize. Feel free to read it. If you're interested in the incomplete ones, you can take it. If it can deepen your understanding of our trials and tribulations, it will have fulfilled its purpose. Why do I keep doing that wrong? I don't know why, but I keep have these accidents. <laughs> 